Hi, welcome to Mark's Basement Arcade. Today we're going to be waxing up this machine and getting it finished. Alright, I got the plastics off the machine. All the plastics are off, which are all right here. I got the apron off. Right now I'm working on moving all the metal pieces here. These little tabs, the flippers will come off. These rubber bands will come off, as you can see. This was stripped out, so what I will be doing there, I will be putting a hunk of um, my little cleaning swabs I use for cleaning score motors and stuff like that. They got wooden sticks on them, so I will be sticking one of those into the hole, breaking it off with wood glue inside. And then once that dries, this will go right back into the play field like it was never broke before. It, it's a perfect fix and it's a permanent fix and it's a, a, a per -per preferred fix. So now I gotta go around, I have to take every one of these pieces off because these all will get cleaned up, new rubbers put on them. I have to go through and vacuum this all again. There's, I never got all the dust and stuff out from underneath here. Replace all the light bulbs. As you can see right now, it doesn't have too much of a wax, but you can see right where here, oh, it's got a little different sheen to it. That's where I did a little test, just to see how it would turn out. So that's going to be nice and shiny, but even shinier, because it's going to have a coat of wax on it. And you can see right now, how oh, it's just plain. You should be able to see the fluorescent lights really good when it's clean. So all these do is just come out with a regular flathead screwdriver and they get all removed. What I do is I take my regular camera, my iPhone, and I just go through and take a picture of every single thing, especially these posts, where these posts are. It's because you need to know where the little acorn push-ons are going to go to hold all these down. So now I got all these documented where every one is. These these are factory nails. You'll see these on a lot of play fields. These kind of like support the um, plastic piece and they also keep it from um, the balls being popped in there too far. That's another thing I've been told. I don't know if these are supposed to go I imagine they're supposed to go here but so I might put them there. I'll see how this is once I replace to put, put new rubbers on. If this is too tight or not. But all these contacts that are on the playfield have been cleaned and adjusted already. Well, they've been they've been adjusted. I'm going to go through and clean them real quick before I put the um, game back together. But I think I did go through them and did clean them all. Yeah, I believe I did. But I'll check them all again just to make sure. So let's get all this removed off the top here and then I'll show you what I'm going to do. Alright, you can see the play field's got everything removed. The only thing that's left is the targets, the pop bumper, and the light bulbs. Light bulbs, I will remove those as soon as I get everything cleaned up. Flippers are even removed. These are the actual flippers, but the, the covers have been taken off, those get cleaned. So you can see, this is the before. Now I will show you what I use to clean it. You can see the difference of the color. Original, weathered. Isn't that weird? That's the original colors of it, back when it was brand spanking new. All right, let's get to start cleaning it all. I'll show you what I use. All right, we're back with the play fields completely all cleaned off. And I ran some Novus 2 over it. And just in this area here, and I used a magic eraser with 91% isopropyl alcohol. This is the first time I use Magic Eraser, and it might be the last time. 
one it's a real highly abrasive product even though you don't think so it still is it's a sponge it's a eraser because it's got um, fine like grit in it or something like that it will take the paint off it did take a little paint off right over here but it's a big difference on the yellow now which is good that's my buddy Jeremy from Pinball Mayhem texting me that beep you heard see how clean that yellow is that's all done and this is what I haven't done it did wonders for that so I am gonna finish the yellow that's untreated and then over here is treated look at that it pops now and then right up there is where I stop so that yellow I'm gonna do all the yellow with the magic eraser because it will get rid of the um, fine lines and then I'm gonna go back over it with the Novus 2 which is um, a fine scratch remover then I have the Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish which I'll be using for the metal pieces and this is the best wax to get this is real wax it's not the fake stuff like min wax and other wax this is the best it will leave a crazy finish on your 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 play field I put that on my Captain Fantastic and that ball when it hits it gets so much English it, it you can almost see that ball spin and when it hits other targets it ricochets crazy because that, that play field is so smooth and so slick so I highly recommend that I'm gonna show you now how I will do the play field. There's Jeremy again. Jeremy, yeah, you're in my video. Jeremy from Pinball Mayhem. He's one of my friends I've met online chatting with. And I've met him at um, MGC 2019. Real cool guy. He's got a cool channel, so check out his stuff too, if you like mine. So, let me see if I can um, zoom this in a little bit. So you can see what I'm doing better. Okay, this area, magic eraser. I use a little alcohol. Like I said, I'm just using this on the yellow. I don't like exactly how it's been working because then it leaves a haze, a strange haze on uh, the play field. I'm just going with the cracks right now, up and down into the cracks just to brighten them back up to get that dirt out of them. Once the dirt's out, they just look brighter. That's me hitting the target. I will go through, I have to go through and readjust everything. Everything's gonna be out of whack a little bit, just for me banging on it, smacking into it clean. But yeah, this, as you can see, it's just slowly disappearing, and you don't see it on a play field, so the play field dries off, and there's this white, crappy haze all over it, and it's real fine and gritty. And I don't like that. It's a pain to remove. Some people will be like, oh, it's probably not. I think it's a pain to remove. But it's making this yellow pop so hard. I don't re recommend using this a lot is because it will take your paint off it's abrasive I'm just do, really want to do this on this guy's yellow because you can see that dirt in the pack cracks of the paint really super good okay and then I gotta finish right up here this is getting a little dry the reason why I use an isopulpal 91 it evaporates quicker. The less time on the play field, the less time for it to soak anything up. Whoops. Let me get over there. Oh, you probably can't see because of the reflection. And it just crumbles into nothing. I want to get right around there once. It just 
disintegrating now. See how clear I can get that white because this is hidden anyways. Once you see how white that white gets, which is getting pretty white. Jeremy, I'm pinned by Mayhem right now, he's rebuilding a shuffle bowl machine. I hope I got that correct. It's pretty cool, and right now he's rebuilding score reels. So if you're interested in that, check it out. He's also an avid pinball collector. He's got his own pinball videos too. So yeah, check him out. Check me out. Like us both. Share us both. Follow us. Anyways, okay, I'll show you what got left over now. There you go. All that. You can hear it. Oh, let me um, zoom back out. That's why we're having a focus problem. Yeah, that's, that's dry. That's fine grit that came off the, what do you call it, magic eraser. So now, I'm going to hit it with the Nova Steel, and it will buff all this crud off. So, let's get on that. And I'll show you how that works. Alright, let's get this out of here. Let's throw that on the floor so that I can get picked up. You know, my dog is upstairs, so he won't eat it. All right. Now this is uh, polishing. It's, I found it's very similar to the stuff that body shops use on cars. I've worked in dealer at dealerships, and I've helped out in body shops cleaning cars and prepping them for paint a little bit. So I've seen all these products used in the past and I've been taught well, by just by asking how do you use this, when do you use this and this, this product really reminds me of um, a 3M product called Finesset. That's what this really reminds me of. These socks, I like using them. One, they were free because the people that we bought the house from, we bought it, um, what do you call it? Private sale. So we got to know the previous owners real good. And he's like, I got a bunch of rags in the basement. If I don't want you, do you want them? And I'm like, hell yeah. I can always find you some rags. So I've been using all the ladies socks for cleaning my pinball but yeah I don't like this haze it leaves behind we're gonna do a video on that clock I will put a video on my channel on that clock because that, that clock's probably been in every one of my videos sometime making noise chatting back with us. But yeah, you just don't need a lot on there. But that, that crud haze that it leaves behind, I don't like. And it's a little hard to get off after it dries. This leaves a haze too, but it polishes right off. You can just hear it. It's like sandpaper almost. I hate this stuff, but it does wonders for the the cracks, bringing them, keeping getting them clean. So I will continue using it just on that. All right, I got it kind of cleaned up. I'm gonna still have to work on it. But I'm not going to keep you guys on video this whole time. I know it gets kind of boring. 
I watch all these videos myself. Some people have them really long like me, and then other people edit them a lot. So you can just, you know, get to the point. I just you you can fast forward on YouTube anytime you want. But I like seeing everything. Seeing how long it actually takes. Alright, I get that pretty much cleaned off. There you go. See the shirt so much cleaner? There's the before. Now here's the after. You can see almost all the dirt's off. I'm not going to go too nuts on it. Just because I don't want to take the paint off. I want extra more there. So you can see how much more blended back in from there. That's what the corner looked like. And that's from me erasing it like crazy. You're never going to get those exact colors back just because of normal fading. But it's a little bit closer. So I'm going to have to go over like right there and there with Magic Eraser now. And here and there to get that out. And remember I got this hole to fix here. And then I found I got another hole to fix there. I will show you how I fix those. But next time I'll have the camera, I will be waxing it. All right, I waxed half of the play field. This half has all been waxed. It's all ready to go. I did fix this. I made a video on how to fix it. This video is already way too long. I got that one fixed. This half of the play field has been all cleaned, but it hasn't been waxed yet. So I'm going to show you how I wax it. I'm going to try this Novus one. It's designed for um, plastic cleaning. This is the wax I use. It's the best wax. This tub right here will last you forever. I've done two play fields with this, and I haven't even dented it yet. It kind of reminds me of... um the smell of um, old bubble gum kind of like what you would get with baseball cards um, it kind of reminds me of that smell so I'm going to put the camera up over here I'm not going to wax the whole play field I'm just going to do part of it because it's boring to watch it and um, you don't want to be bored but first I'm going to Get a piece of paper towel. That was my last piece. So I want to see how this Novus one works. Play the plastic. Let me flip this up so I can see what's going on. I have a screen on the back of my camera that you can flip forward. It's a Sony RX100 Mark III, if you're wondering what camera I use. All right, this is Playfield Plastic. It's dirty. It's got crud um, on it. I don't know if you can really you can probably see when the light hits it. You can see the crud. So I'm going to see how this works. I've used Novus 1 on these. No, have I used Novus 1 on these? I mean, I'm two. I think I just used Windex before. I'm going to try to know this one. Um, the, uh, some of the Playfield um, rubber sets I get off eBay, um, they come with it for free. So I've never tried it before. Do I have to shake it? Yep, yeah, shake well. I've, I've dumped some out before and it looked just like water. It's so runny and liquidy. But I'm going to see what it looks like. Yeah, it's kind of like a milky water. So I want to see what it does. If it really does anything. I like putting a plastic on my hand. Like this. This way I'm not afraid I'm going to break it. My hand's kind of flat when I do it and it lets it flex a little bit. I do not clean the bottoms of the um, 
these. I do not clean the bottoms. I'm afraid to because that's where it's all painted and everything. So I only clean the tops. So yeah, just lay it on your hand like this. And yeah, look, turned out pretty good. A lot of dirt. Let's just buff it off with a clean end. Yeah, it looks pretty decent. Look at that. See, all the dirt's gone. It's got a nice shine to it. So, yeah, I guess I will use this to clean the rest of the plastics. It's supposed to be, um, what is it? Plastic Clean and Shine, Anti-Fog, Anti-Static, Dust Repellent. For use on autos, boats, planes, motorcycles, and most plastic surfaces. I know, um, I've heard of people using this on, um, like windshields on motorcycles. So, but like I said, it comes with a, um, the rubber kit for the um, play field. So, I guess I will use it from now on. So, let me just throw this over to the side so it's out of the way. That does look nice. Here's a, um, let's do a before. Let's see if I can get this. You can see all the crud. That's what it'll look like before. It's all the crud that's on there. And then after. So it did polish it pretty nice. Because you can see the nice reflection of my fluorescent lights on the ceiling. So yeah, that should look pretty good. I'm guessing if you really need to clean these, you just use a little water and just rub them off. But like I said, this is where the paint and everything is applied and I'm just afraid of um, getting them all jacked up. And here's the um, before again. You can see all just the crud. All that crud. It looks like somebody sneezed all over it for a long time. Ew. Alright. Let's throw that over there. Yeah, that does look really nice. So, yep, I will be using it from now on, I guess. Yes. We're going to do a video on that. These are exfoliating cotton rounds for makeup. These are an up and up brand. Um, you can get them at Target, 100% cotton. I use these for cleaning up um, waxing and cleaning the play field. Well, the play field I use the sock. I use these for waxing. So I can get my two fingers on it and get it, get it real nice. I'll show you what this wax looks like also. And this whole plastic. Oh, I just love to smell this. Here's one I had yesterday. That can go over there. But look at it. Oh my god, that smells so good. It's like I said, it smells like bubble gum, kind of. I usually just take a piece, a chunk, and I use the, um, the textured part. There's two parts of this. See, it's got bumpy and soft. I like using a bumpy. I don't think there's really a uh, bad or good side, but I just rub it all around, get it real good. People say, oh yeah, I put two coats of wax on. You know, I put three coats of wax on my car. From what I know is you can only put one coat of wax on because wax will take off the wax. So, whatever you put on the car, and it sticks onto the car, you can't double wax it. I know people are probably like, oh yeah, you can. I've never noticed any difference double waxing anything. Because you let it on, let it sit, let it haze up, put another coat, you know, wipe it off, put another coat on. I've never seen anything. The only thing I've ever seen different with wax is um brands. Just different brands of wax. I'm just rubbing this on there like this real hard now. Just to get a nice layer off. It's yellowish. 
this um, you just rub rub in circles. The reason why I go in circles because you get all the little cracks in the paint and everything like this and it's just like kind of grinds it in to all those little cracks. Yeah, you really don't need to wax in here. I do, it's off. I just want to seal all the paint. Get everything sealed. Put a nice protective coating on it. So you never know what's gonna happen, you know. You might have a party over at your house and your buddy decides to slam his beer on top of your pinball machine and it breaks the glass and your pinball machine gets beer all over it on the inside. If I got wax over every little hunk of wood, every little painted surface, I might have a better chance of um, wiping it all off and not having it soak in to the wood. The most things it's going to do is go through all these little holes here and just go underneath the play field. But I feel if I wax the whole thing, every little part, mm. it will be um, protected better. So you get the gist of waxing. Okay, it's hazed over. Now I take my um, microfiber polishing cloth. I get these free at Home Depot. I mean, um, Harbor Freight all the time. That's the Grant's microfiber cleaning cloth. So I got a package over here of what they look like. Um, right there. Get them from Home Depot. I mean, why do I say Home Depot? Harbor Freight. I don't even shop Home Depot. Harbor Freight. Um, they got coupons all the time where you get these for free. So, they're perfect. They're awesome. You get them all dirty or whatever, throw them out. Because chances are in a month or two, you're going to get a coup coupon for another free one. Plus, they had a nice sale the other day. I think they're like a buck or something a pack. Same thing wax. I rub it around in circles to get it off. Because I'm trying to grind it in, you know, the, all the surfaces. And then that's it. I gotta put a little more over here because I must have not had a good coating on there. I can see it's got a little difference right here. And also underneath all these lights, I'm putting um, LEDs because the incandescent bulbs make these kind of look like a orangish yellow color. And I have some cool whites that I had bought for... Um, what did I buy them for? I think I bought them for my swinger and I did not like the way they looked. They just looked like crap. So I had them. I'm like, well, these are nice and white. So if I put them underneath the play field, um, these numbers are going to light up real nice like an actual brand new cue ball. And that's what they do. So I got to put them under these yet. Nine and ten I got them under. So one, two, three, four, and five on both sides, I have to put the LEDs on. And then all these light bulbs here will get be re replaced with actual bulbs. Um, the only LEDs that are going on this game is um, underneath these one through ten numbers. And then over here and over here, there's um, numbers too. And that's the only thing that's getting LEDs on this game. I like I I honestly believe that these old bulbs here just add so much look to the the game. It it's got that like warm glow to it. I bought some new ones for my um Captain Fantastic, 
and they're they're a nice clear bulb. Let me get one once, and I'll show you. Actually, let's plug this in. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, as you can see from right here, just 10. It's got a nicer look. These are, see the difference in color? That's more of a white, and that's a uh, weird yellow. But um, these are the ones from Comet. I think they're cool whites. We're gonna focus. Problem is there's so much stuff in the background that's focused on. And then I got these. These are supposed to look just like regular incandescent bulbs. They do. But um, you get the 47 bulbs that are dim. They're dimmer than the 44s. So if these were like an incandescent bulb, I would say these would be like a 40 then because they're just monster bright. I'll show you what one looks like. These are monster bright. They're just, I can't even look at them. They, they blind you. But it, it does have the appearance of a regular bulb because it's um got the clear top and LEDs on the bottom. Now these ones, with the frosted top, they got that nice little glow. So that's what is under 10 here, right here and then these numbers. So like I said, it's going to go underneath all these. It just makes them look so much nicer. But yeah. As you can see, it doesn't look right on a play field. Or, like, I'm not, I can't even look at this. It's just, like I said, it blinds me. It's so bright. It, it doesn't do it justice on uh Let me see if you can see the reflection off my hand. How bright that is. Damn it, it scared the hell out of me. Um, versus the regular bulb. See how I have a little bit of light on my hand? Not uh, super uh, bright. Difference in brightness. And then these, damn it. See, so he's got that morgue glow to it. Kind of like how LEDs first came out. It has that like morgue glow. Like a hospital morgue. I like these better. They're natural. And it was with this era pinball machine. You get the new machines that are all LED, LEDs. Perfect. They were designed to run that way. These weren't. The glow of these bulbs, that you just cannot beat it. These would be great. I would like them to make them a little bit dimmer. If they were dimmer, they'd be awesome. I mean awesome. But... I had them on my Captain Fantastic. I had to take them out because they were blinding me while I was trying to play. I don't know how anybody, anybody can run these in there. But I do have them up in my um, target uh, lanes, the four lanes up on top. I do have them in there because they light up that white cover so nice. I really like them for that. But um, yeah, that's about it. So next time you see the game... Um, I will be polishing some metal pieces up. Um, I'll have all the plastics put back on. I'll have the rubbers put back on. I'm not going to show you how to put rubbers on. Um, they go on exactly how you take them off. You know, you got the two posts and you wrap the rubber around it. That's about it. Um, it's It shows you right on the instructions. There's no real reason to make a video on that. But I guess if... Um, you guys want to message me on my posts and say, Mark, make a video of putting the rubbers on. I will specifically do that. But here's one right here. There's a little rubber on this one. See? 
just take it and roll it down. There we go. All right. This video is over, so please like and subscribe. The video, give us a big thumbs up. Thumbs up. Um, share it with your friends. Post it all over Facebook. Check us out on Facebook at Mark's Basement Arcade. Oh, these are the bulbs here. Uh, from Common LED. They're the one SMD 6.3 volt. Um, BA9S44-47. But like I said, these, the 47s are dim, the 44s are brighter. I would say these would be like a 40 if there was such a thing for these, you know, the bayonet style bulbs. But I like these, but they need to be dimmer. They need to be a lot dimmer. Alright, take care and catch you later at the next video.